Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Thanksgiving makeup and a little bit of a hair um, look. And I'm excited because this video is going to be in collaboration with Ashley Bomb Beauty here on YouTube. I love her. Her channel is super amazing. She's so gorgeous. And if you're not subscribed to her, definitely go subscribe. You will love her channel and follow her on Twitter. She's like, she's really awesome. So yes. Okay, so I wanted to use the Kathleen Lights palette because I had it sitting here and I just really, really wanted to do a look with it. So I decided to use this palette and I also used one of my Touch and Soul, um, Touch and Soul eye glitters. So that's kind of the look I came up with. It just kind of formulated as I went along and um, yeah, I really like the way it turned out. I'm super excited for the holidays. Hope you guys are as well. And yes, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to be starting off with a makeup cleanser wipe just to remove any excess dirt from my face. And then I'm going to go in with my brow gel. This is the Benefit Cup Brow in the shade number 5. I really, really love this shade. I think it's perfect for my brows. And I'm just going to fill them in with a Anastasia brow um, brush. And then I'm going to be concealing them to really help define them. I'm using the MAC Studio finish concealer which is definitely my fave for my brows I'm just blending that out with a nice brush this brush is so perfect for cream products it's amazing I'm using Max Lane low eye primer using the same brush it just really blends out cream products so beautifully so for my eye makeup I'm gonna be using the Kathleen lights and morphe palette and I love this palette I think it's super gorgeous the first shade I'm gonna be using is the more yellow mustardy color I'm gonna apply this all over my lid to act as a transitioning shade I think this color was really perfect then I went over that with a reddish brown toned color in my crease and I blended the two together to just give a really nice seamless transition in my crease area now I'm going with the more dark, it's kind of like a black, but I found that it wasn't as black when I applied it. So I think it's like a really, really dark gray. Um, so I'm going to apply this in my outer V area uh, and then also blend this into my crease as well. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye, of course, and just really blend everything out so you don't have any, any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go in with the Touch and Soul. Lottie. It's like a purple plum um, cream base and glitter. So I'm using the same cream product um, brush to apply the cream portion. I find that the brush applied it a little bit more controlled than the actual tool it came with. And now I'm applying the glitter with the same brush on top of the cream. And I just thought this looked so beautiful. It was so gorgeous. You barely get any fallout. Like as you guys can see, I have zero fallout on my face right now. It's amazing. So now I'm going with the Morphe eyeliner brush and the Inglot 77 gel black liner. I really love this brush. It's my first time using it and I really loved it. And um, for concealer, I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. It's one of my faves. I'm just going to apply that all over the face where I want to highlight and I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender, of course. <laughs> so once I blend that out, I'm going to be setting it with a setting powder. I'm using the shade from the Tarte and Shayla palette, the light shade. And now I'm going to be using the contour shade in that same palette to contour my face. I have been using this shade to contour since I got the palette, like I can't even put it down. It's so amazing to me, I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to blend out my nose contour with a big fluffy brush so it's not too harsh and I'm going to apply um, my waterline, the eyeliner and the eyeshadow, the reddish brown toned one for that. Then I'm going to be applying Rimmel Lactose Silver Mascara to my lash line. I love using this mascara for my lash and I think it's really, really perfect for it. And for highlighting, I have been loving this palette from the Essay Edit. Guys, it is seriously amazing. I I love the pigmentation of these highlights and they blend so beautifully. They have that almost wet look for highlighting and I think it's so gorgeous. So definitely try it out, test it out in store, see if you like it. And I'm applying it to my nose as well and also my inner corner. I cannot live without an inner corner highlight. From By Beauty, I'm going to be using this glaze, um, lip pencil in the shade glaze and I really, really love it. I think it's super gorgeous. I have been using this nonstop. And I am just going to be applying some blush from the Shayla palette and then I'm going to put some lashes on and I'll be right back. I'm using the Ardell 603 lashes. I love them. They look so gorgeous. 
and for earrings i'm going to be using this gorgiana hoops from nordstrom i love these so much they're so pretty my sweater is from forever 21 in case you were wondering and i'm just going to be doing my hair with my fingers i had just gotten a blow out the day before so i just fluffed it out a little bit and tucked it behind my ear and that was basically it hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye